All right, guys, another episode with the Scout. Today we're doing wheels and tires. We're doing black wheels and then got some white wall, white wall tires. So here's a few shots of what the bike looks like before. And I'll show you guys after here in just a second and walk you through the process, what it takes, how easy it is, and what it'll look like afterwards. See you guys in a minute. So this is Ken down at the bike shop here in Wichita. The Bike Shop Inc. And I'll link it down. I'll link it down below, guys. You can check them out. Oh, there we go. Perfect. And then people can call you guys at all hours of the night and ask you about weird stuff. Yeah, perfect. There we go. <laughs> that's the number. That's the email. If you're in the Midwest and you're looking for any bike stuff, these guys came highly recommended. So right now we're taking... So, so basically I bought this and this wheel and it came with the tires. It was like each individual wheel on eBay was like 300 bucks, but then some guy was selling them used with tires for 500 bucks. So I was like, yeah, I'll save a hundred bucks and get some tires, but the tires turned out to be not so good. So then I bought these white walls to throw on those and then hopefully magic happens. Hopefully I can keep them clean. That's I just thought of that. Well, I got the easy part. Right. And so this is the front tire. The back tire, the stock is 150. This will be the same size as the front one, but the back right here is going to be this is a 150 that's a 170 so so this is the size difference here between the 150 and the 170 in case you guys are wondering if you want to throw one on your scout you can go up to 180 apparently but i don't want to risk that but that's the size difference right there let me go from the bottom here yeah they have a different profile yeah so mm -hmm. they're also yeah this one's more curved i guess more rounded i guess um, is actually, that what you'd this call is it a shorter profile shorter, shorter profile? profile okay mm -hmm. I don't know what that means, yeah. but. The bridge, the height of the tire. Okay, I got you. So to fill out the fender more. You guys should just be on my motorcycle coach because I don't know anything of this, any of this stuff right here. So there we go. Thank you, Mrs. Knowledgeable. I forget your name. Heather. Heather, thank you so much. Heather's ripped. You want to flex? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I'm also going to link everywhere down below where to buy all this stuff. You can buy some of it on Amazon, some of it on eBay. You can't buy this guy. Well, wait, can they buy you? Yeah. Yeah, they can. You can definitely rent them for sure. This is the balance. Everything for sale. Everything's for sale. Uh, so this is the bike shop when you walk in, created by two lovely ladies right here, and this could be where you guys see the rest of the videos that are mechanically inclined stuff, guys. This place is really cool. All right, now he's taking off the front wheel. How hard would it be for the average Joe to just get in his garage and, like? Say he wanted, say he bought some wheels on eBay and wanted to put them on. How hard would that be? You know, if you watched a video on it, it's not that bad. The hardest part is suspending the bike. And oh yeah, because this is yeah, you have a full on like in crazy lift here. Because this bike, if you can't tell, is like off the ground. It doesn't look like it from above, but it's yeah, off the surface the, here. The winch helps us from having to put a jack underneath it. There's really not too many places to tie them down that great in the back. So the winch. Well, we're going to shop secrets right now, but you know, here's the, the operation. Got a big winch up here. Maybe you farm. And it comes down with some straps right there, it lifts up. And then now the bike is off the ground. Trick is put grease on them. This one has a little grease on it. But if you don't keep grease on these things, the next guy might not be able to take them out. Oh, yeah. You'll run through water and get moisture in there and no rust in there. Good thing the last guy put grease on. That's probably the factory. These are probably original tires. And these are the stock brakes I have. And the wheels that I bought off eBay came with like old rusty ones. So I'm going to put the good ones on them. All right. Now the new tire goes on. Reinstall the brakes. Make sure it spins free. Make sure the brake works right. Nice. If something's out of place, you'll get it dry. you get a what? It'll dry What's many, that? many times. That's, that's that. the sound of the brake on the rotor. Yeah. So that's normal. That's normal. Gotcha. So for the back ones, we have to tie down the bike right here. And get a jack. Jack up the back. Also, we are installing a license plate bracket today. I only have the temporary tags on still, um, but we were thinking, you know, might as well, we're taking the axle out right now, might as well throw this on because this literally just goes onto the axle right there with that hole. And this was like 
10, 15 bucks on Amazon. I'll link it down below as well, guys, so you can find it if you're interested in getting one of those custom looking thingamabob jobs. Was it all greased up? It was. Gotta love I'm it. Very impressed. Gotta love Indian. One in a row for Indian. I was talking to him about, he said no other motorcycle brands grease up their axles so when you take them off it is dry and this is a punk hoe to get off apparently so big ups on you indian if you're watching this oh it won't fit it will when we're done oh it's just barely too small you have to like grind it out or something maybe yeah this is like half a millimeter too narrow to fit through the axle so we have to get a dremel real quick it fits there we go Rear tire comes in. Indian Scout hack. We took off the back tire. Look what's back here. It's a little. I don't freaking get it out. <laughs> Allen wrench slash screwdriver. Very cool, right? Cross tire from the new rim. Get on. So this will be right here. License plate will go there. That'd be really cool. 